Hello everybody and welcome to another CB Show Tunes tutorial. Now today what we're going to be doing is we are going to be actually texturing this uh, tower right here. So let's go and get started with this tutorial. Now if you've been following along inside this previous tutorial we built this awesome looking building and all and if you haven't been following along then you can use your own creation for this or you could just go back to that video and of course build this. All right, so the first thing that we want to do is we want to actually get rid of this background image that we have sitting right here. Um, if you guys want to see that right there. So yeah, um, so we're going to go and get rid of this background image. So we're going to click X on this reference on the background image, go ahead and select background image off and then press in to get rid of that menu. Now we're going to get out of orthographic view for now. And the first thing that we want to do is come over here, right click inside the middle of the screen, or you can do it anywhere along the edges. You can go on the side if you want. I believe it's actually this side. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go and split it on the top. So just select right about there, uh, split, and then select where you want it to split. So I'm going to choose right about there. The next thing that you want to do is come over here to this icon and you're going to select that bringing up all these menus. Now we want to do UV image editor and the reason for this is because we want to be able to select our image and scale our image depending on what our image looks like. So yeah. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to come over to this menu over here. Now if you don't have this menu up then you probably accidentally changed it uh, and all you need to do is select this icon right here and go over to user preference. Now if it's on the bottom uh, then that's alright. So if it looks like that uh, but you actually want properties not user preferences uh, properties. So you can come over here to this materials tab looks pretty much like a uh, circle that's brown and red I think yeah, who cares? Anyway, so we're going to call this material skyscraper. Now you can call it whatever you want. I call it skyscraper again. Okay, um, you can call it whatever you want, but I'm going to call it skyscraper. Next, I'm going to give it a 100% on the diffuse, make it a complete white uh, model, and then of course increase the intensity. I'm going to lower the specular down because I really don't want that. All right, so that looks actually pretty good. Now we need to go ahead and add the picture texture. Now a picture texture can be made from anything, from any software that allows you to draw or paint or whatever. So think of it like using paint. You can use paint, Manga Studios, you build your texture, save it as a PNG or JPEG, and it will work. Okay, so if you have your materials selected. You're going to come, come over here to this, uh, I guess you could call it like a chessboard, and that will be your texture tab. And we're going to go ahead and give it a texture. Now, you should automatically have a default texture attached to this object. So, we're going to go ahead and call it um, skyscraper text. Now, I could just call it skyscraper and it wouldn't have matter. Because as long as you have the same, I mean, a different uh, spot. So if it's a material and you have like 36 skyscrapers, they might have an issue with that. But since this is a texture, it's completely different. Now, if you don't have this up here, all you need to do is press the plus key and it will give you one. Okay, so the first thing we actually want you to look on this is type. So what sort of type is it? And we're going to be selecting image or movie. Next, we're going to click open and we're going to be looking for a picture. So we're going to go over to pictures. I'm going to go over to custom textures. And this is a texture I actually built just recently, a really low poly uh, texture and all. So we're going to double click this. Now, what we want to do is change this from solid to texture or material. Either one works. But as you can see, 
it's like it doesn't really look that great right now so we're gonna roll down here select this right here change the UV so it's only gonna be working if it's underneath the UV map okay so we're gonna press tab to go into edit mode if you don't know how to go into edit mode again just come over here to this menu or um, this button right here and then select edit mode alright we're gonna go over to face select and we're going to simply hold down alt and select that face now we selected the corner so we could select the entire selection all the way around and there we go so now we're gonna press U and U is the universal key pretty much for unwrapping now this only works inside edit mode so just keep that in mind now there are several different options that we can use so we have normal unwrap um, normal unwraps not really too bad but you get this funky shape and we really don't want that you also have smart UV unwrap uh, this is really good for like texturing models and all um, but you get something similar to this right here and since this is a cube we really don't want that so we're gonna press Control Z again you have your light map pack so select faces if you press OK as you can see we have that option right there follow active quads OK and there we go again so what we actually want to do is just simply press unwrap and then press U and then click reset so what that does is it just puts it over the entire square now there are faster ways of doing that but I found that this one's the easiest personally for me because I actually prefer doing it that way so now what you want to do is mess with the UV over here so whichever menu or screen your mouse is on that's what it's going to be actually focusing on so let's go ahead and do that the first thing that you want to think when you're actually looking at this side or the UV image editor is that it's going to be on the X and the Y axis think of it like geometry right so if you want a certain point within a certain area that's going to be the X and Y and blah 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 and this is like 250 and that's 250 that's zero you know stuff like that so you're going to be doing the same concept when working with UVs so you don't need everything inside this square for it to work so let's go ahead and scale it so let's do scale Y and watch as we can edit the Y axis on our UV which is super cool so we want it to go a little bit up there we go so as you can see we now have a pretty good shape right there now if we want to edit the x-axis we can also do that but I think the X looks pretty good so now we're going to do the same thing with this side right here so we're going to press U unwrap U reset and then we're going to just simply edit this as well so scale on Z or X I mean okay well it looks good as is so let's go and scale on Y actually I'm gonna leave it as is so we're gonna press U and we're gonna do the same thing again reset and let's go and keep that the same as well we don't want to mess with it too much if it uh, looks decent okay so now we have our texture for um, the building now when you come over here to the mapping area underneath your texture you could see this as UV map that's optional you could click it if you want to but since we already have set our UV up we don't have to worry about adding the UV map or the flat now if you're exporting or stuff like that then you will need to do that okay so now since we got that done we're gonna roll down a little bit now these are all different options that you can actually add to your texture it's optional as well it's well let's just say that it sometimes will improve it sometimes won't improve so as you can see if I put this out on a zero on color then the color is zero if I put out one two three and so on so if you're wanting like a dark uh, colored building and all 
sort of like a background image for something, then that would be perfect. Uh, so yeah. Ooh, that actually looks really cool. And of course, if you want your alpha and you want to like change the alpha to your buildings or to your textures, stuff like that, uh, translucency. But whenever you're dealing with alphas and all, what you want to make sure that you do is come over here to your transparency on this object data tab. Uh, looks pretty much like a cube. And then you could just simply press transparency, roll down on your texture again, and go over to alpha, and it should allow you to do it. Well, I guess not. And normally, it will work on um, this, but it, for some reason, it's not uh, working too much on the other. Oh well. Who cares? This is a skyscraper. Anyway, so uh, yeah. Now, if we take a look at this over here, though, this is the very important part of actually making it look really, really good, especially when you're using Blender Render. Now, if you're using Cycles Render, um, you can make the building look extremely realistic, but Cycles Render is a whole lot more complicated and you'll need to know what you're doing before you even think about getting into that. But let's go ahead and check this out. So the first thing we're going to do is go over to RGB to intensity. Yes. And what that does is it increases the coloring based on whatever this color is, which is super good, depending, especially on if you want to like make it Tokyo in Japan or whatnot. It's like, uh, yeah, stuff like that. Now, just remember that real base colors, like if you're going with a solid blue or a solid red or solid green and yellow, basically any form of very dominant color, it's not going to show your underlying color. So whenever you're dealing with RGB to intensify, make sure that you have that in mind. Uh, and yeah. Just experiment and have fun doing that stuff. So another option that you'll have is to blend. And you could simply go to like add and it will add this color to it. Really good for like brighten games and stuff like that. Uh, love that. And then of course you have, say for instance, linear lights, which it's similar to add, except it brings more of a darker color to it. You could just experiment with all these options to give yourself the best build. We're going to go with the difference for now because I personally think that looks absolutely cool. And let's go with a creepy building. So. I'm looking for the best option. Oh, that looks pretty cool. So now we're going to go over to the world settings and let's go and give it a paper blend and real sky. Give it a dark top and give it like a and yeah, no, something like that. Ooh, right there. There we go. So now if we press F12, whoop, we are definitely going to need to align the camera. Now if we press F12, we have an awesome building just standing right there. All right, guys, if you guys like this tutorial, please like it, subscribe, check out some of my other videos. If you have any questions on anything that I've done inside this video or, in fact, any of my videos, uh, just leave a comment inside the comment section below. I'll be happy to get to it as fast as I can. And yeah, so I'll see you guys next.